Because he said he was gonna. Like, so are you gonna or are you not gonna? That's the question for the day. He said he was gonna. But Allie nailed it. That's our question of the day. We have to sit here and anticipate all day long whether we're getting sent to the hospital or not. Today's a crazy day. Today is a crazy day. What's gonna happen today? We have no idea. <laughs> I tried to like trick you into it. Like, if I just said it, like, what would your response be? Yeah, no, no you we didn't. have no idea. You didn't commit. We are going to get another ultrasound. We've yeah. had two ultrasounds and an MRI in the last week, but this one is gonna tell us whether or not we need to have a baby early. Not sure what it's gonna show different, but. Here we go. It's 5 o'clock in the morning. Allie's getting all beautified. I'm already beautified. It just happens that fast. As I get my makeup on. When... Like a warrior now. Yeah. I got a Facebook like memory. It was like 12 years ago. Macy was watching me put my makeup on and she was like, do you have to wear makeup so people will like your face? Oh. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, I do. And she was like, does dad not have to wear makeup because people already like his face? <laughs> like, that's exactly why. <laughs> I like your face. <laughs> so we're packing this morning, and we don't know what to pack. Because what do you pack when you're heading to the hospital? Well, when you're heading to the doctor, anticipating that he's going to send you to the hospital. But there is a small chance that they don't. Because he said he was gonna. Because <laughs> he said he was gonna. Like, so are you gonna or are you not gonna? That's the question for the day. He said he was gonna, but Allie nailed it. That's our question of the day. We have to sit here and anticipate all day long whether we're getting sent to the hospital or not. I say we like I'm going. I'll try to spend as much time as I can, but so anyway, we're gonna try to pack up this morning. Allie packed the baby yesterday. Ooh. Anyway, morning crew. I was telling Tyler too, the hard thing too is like, it's not like we're just gonna go to the hospital and have a baby. like today like he's gonna be like okay we're gonna put you in the hospital and maybe have a baby in like two weeks or a week or something like we don't even know we don't even know <laughs> and normally go to the hospital it's like oh you're feeling the contractions all right let's go or you're being induced today all right let's go we're having a baby today or tomorrow and this time it's we're going to the doctor to maybe have a baby in the next couple weeks it's fun it's fun right this is just all part of the journey this is the good life, right? This is the good life. Whoa, whoa. She's not singing along. Check it in 10 minutes later. You packed fast. I just threw basically every piece of clothing that fits me at this point fits in this bag. <laughs> so it was kind of easy. Oh, and your drug bag. Oh, I missed, how'd I miss the drug bag? Woo! Go, go back. A couple people brought boredom boxes for Allie in case she has to get stuck in the hospital. And we put the car seat in the car. How crazy is that? I put it the wrong way. We're not putting it all the way in yet, London. Okay. There's no baby in here. We're just having it just in case. What are you feeling this morning, London? I want you guys to come home with the baby. <laughs> you want us to? Yeah, yeah. That'd be pretty cool. Macy, what are you feeling? I don't know. <laughs> I'm excited and I'm scared and I'm nervous. Cause I don't know what's gonna happen, and I don't like it when I don't know things. Wait. Even in school, I don't like it. Pretty well articulated. Yeah. Final instructions for the family before we leave. Oh, and one more thing: dessert every night. Dessert every night. Yeah, right. Good luck. I mean, Grandpa will be here, so it's possible it'll happen. It's possible. We're off. We're off to see the specialist. Car's packed. It's packed. It looks like I'm moving in somewhere. I said that and Kyle was like, well, you kind of are. A little bit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Kids are dropped off. Cars parked. Parked. Cars packed. And we're heading over the mountain. The big decision. We're here for the first half. Oh, you ready for the first half of this thing? Yeah, we're like 20 minutes early, but we were an hour early, so we went and walked around Target, and now we're just like, well, might as well go sit in there. 
We definitely misjudged the time from Holbrook to here. Mm -hmm. I thought it'd take three and a half hours. It only took three and we budgeted a little extra. But we're going in for her ultrasound and then we have to have a lunch break in between that and the doctor visit, so. But I saw some good places to eat over there. Oh, different than uh, Chiba Hut? I just thought about that. We shall see. Check, check, check it. And we're back. <laughs> Home. <laughs> we are not in a hospital. Still pregnant. Still pregnant. <laughs> for at least another couple weeks. So we got the ultrasound done and the baby was breached this time instead of being head down. Or transverse. Or transverse. They got pictures, but they didn't get the same type of pictures as they did last time because the baby is in a different position. The angles were different and they couldn't see half of the vein. They didn't even go near the lobe. The dog just opened the door by herself. She's smart. I think they tried to go near the lobe, but he was sitting on it. Is that yeah, accurate? Essentially, yes. So the measurements that they did get were further away from the cervix because they measured further up on the vein, essentially. We had a different doctor and a different sonographer. Fancy word for ultrasound tech. We saw this doctor and she basically not basically she came in and said well you guys have a very complicated not clear-cut case in different words but exactly that yeah like Almost very exactly. yeah well you guys there's no definitive answer to tell us textbook in some textbooks it says that the vein anywhere under two centimeters is a problem. Some of them say under five centimeters. The measurement that they got today was 3.8? 3.4? 3.4. The measurement they got last week was in, I don't even know, but they 2. said 7. it was like two between the two and three centimeter range. I think the good news to the doctor is that it's not under two and it's not directly over the cervix. And so there's not a super big urgency to get me into the hospital today, but there isn't there. There is still, still considered a high risk, but it's still high risk. Yeah. We still need to go back to the doctor and get another ultrasound so that they can look at the two, <laughs> the <laughs> three, actually <laughs> the three ultrasounds. And then this From next three one. three different <laughs> ultrasound texts. To see which ones can be conclusive. And that's basically what she said is. Today's was just inconclusive. Today was, was this very inconclusive. Basically the baby was not cooperating. He was not in. He's not in a position where he will be when to deliver. Right? He's not head down. And if he stays breech. That's the C-section anyway. And so. So. Yeah. In my uneducated, maybe 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 it'll make sense from my uneducated perspective. Anything under two centimeters is automatic vasoprevia. Anything over five five centimeters is automatically you're good. Safe safe distance. So below two is bad. Above five is good. We're right here. Anything in there is well crap. What do we do with you? We have choices. <laughs> <laughs> so. She said, it's not she basically said, she said, we can do whatever you want to do. If you want to get admitted today, I can admit you today. We can start steroid shots. You can have a baby. She did bump the date a little bit between 35 and 36 weeks. Whereas the doctor we talked to last week said 34 or 35. Um, so there is that 35 week range that they, they both agree on. She also said... We could aim for farther out, 37 weeks or more. Yeah, we can keep looking at it and just checking my cervix and making sure labor isn't starting and, and kind of push it off. So what we felt comfortable with today is to come home and not get admitted. Um, and the reason I felt comfortable with that is because my cervix hasn't changed at all. It hasn't changed from last week to this week and not really having contractions. I mean, there's the Braxton Hicks that you 
definitely get, especially after four children on your fifth pregnancy. We felt comfortable coming home because my cervix hasn't really done much and I'm not in that like 34, 35 week range yet. I'll be 33 weeks on Sunday. And so we decided to come home and get the scan next week and then make a delivery plan next week with the doctor. And new information. With new information. Because today she really said we can do whatever we want. She basically said your body, your choice. Trust your... Trust our gut. Trust your Trust instincts. our gut and instinct. Because the medical field right now doesn't have a clear cut answer for my case. Because <laughs> I am in that, that gray area that it's not super close to my cervix, but it's still... We still don't trust it. So if you think about it, in order for a baby to come out, your cervix has to dilate to a 10. Um, and so half the distance, if it was to dilate, is five. five six. And so you wanna make sure that vessel is clear out of dilation to be able to have a natural childbirth. So I think we definitely came away with that they don't want her going into labor unsupervised. That's no. that's a clear thing. Like, we won't. If we can come up with a bunch of different labor plans, whatever you feel most comfortable with, and the doctor feels most comfortable with, but we still want to avoid labor at home. Whenever whenever we, labor happens, it needs to be under supervision. Because we need to be on the safe side. And supervision is in like in monitoring the baby and mm -hmm. things. Because, like, like we said, if you haven't watched our last video, we mentioned how contractions can cause the baby to push down on that vessel and then you might see D cells. And so if there are contractions, we need to be hooked up to a monitor so that we can check out the baby to make sure the baby doesn't have D cells when there are contractions. And so right now, like me and baby are good. Like cause there's no labor. Baby, cause there's no labor. Baby's growing fine. Of course my back hurts and <laughs> and Fine. round ligament pain and all the things <laughs> that come with a pregnancy, but we're both not in like imminent danger until that labor would start. As of today, the plan is to obviously come home for a week. We're gonna have another ultrasound <laughs> next Friday. So another week and then come up with a delivery plan then. We do not anticipate at all going past 37 weeks. 37. That's the plan. <laughs> That's our non-planned plan. Again, back to the roller coaster. We fully are aware that that could change at any moment. Allie on the way back from Phoenix. We've had six hours in a car to discuss a lot of stuff. <laughs> she lot. did say, I fully expect a phone call on Monday. <laughs> That's like, oh, hey, we talked to these doctors and we decided this. And so who knows what happens after the doctor that we saw today talks to other doctors because that happened last week. So. And, we, and we did appreciate this doctor. She spent a good hour with us yeah. answering any questions and talking about it. And, you know, under, she made sure we understood why it was safe to go home another week. And mm -hmm. we feel comfortable with that decision. Like, yep. No part of us was like, because again, and she said, if you don't, I'll we'll admit, admit you right, right now. now. Yeah. I will, I will trust you and I will do that. But we didn't feel like it was necessary quite yet. So the roller coaster ride continues. Um, but that's life, right? I do. Thank you so much for everybody's sweet words and prayers and... We still need everything. <laughs> we still need them. <laughs> Keep them coming. But we truly do feel um, surrounded by friends and loved ones. Like everybody has been so, so kind and concerned. <laughs> and we we really appreciate all your thoughts and prayers. And more than just even words, right? So many people have brought gifts or goodie bags and offered to take care of the kids and you know the service element has felt you know we we're surrounded not just by love but but by true acts of service and people mm -hmm. that are giving and we live in a great community for sure thank you 
Anybody have a baby name yet? Well, we still <laughs> have a we baby don't have name. One of those. And uh, and the next couple of videos may not make sense because I'm gonna go back and edit some old videos. So just a fair warning ahead of time. The next videos maybe they're not about pregnancy because they're old videos and I just got to get them out because they've kind of gone on the back burner. And Allie yeah. was getting on me for just two. I was two. like, hey, you never posted my Fill in the video. Blank. So I have two videos that I got to get out this week. And then it'll probably be all about pregnancy again. <laughs> so stay tuned. Yay. We sure are. <laughs> so basically what we learned today is that um, the vein kind of looks like it moved further away. But they didn't get the same picture. So they can't like really say that it moved further away because it's a different picture. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go back in a week. <laughs> right, at least we don't have to ditch us. Yeah, you guys will come down with yeah. us. On what day day. Don't got ditches we're gonna leave on Thursday. So you guys will just miss Friday of school. After school, Thursday. After. Yeah. Okay. So it just missed Friday. But London already feels better about it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> There's a couple things that we do know, though. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have a C-section. Uh -huh. So they'll have to, like, cut my tummy a little bit. And then we know that we'll have the baby in October. Oh. It won't be November. So it'll it will be this month? month? Yes. It'll be October. I'm going to have a baby yes. brother this month. That's kind of... Like we will, like we know exactly what No, we don't know anything. If we've learned yeah. anything, we don't know anything. Like that's the, that's the plan right now. You were going to be admitted. Yeah, that's what they told us. That's what they told us. So you bought. And no. she said, she said <coughs> that we could be admitted today, but, or we could wait another week. And I wanted to keep the baby in a little bit longer. And it was safe. Like the doctor made sure it was mm -hmm. safe and... We feel comfortable with it, so we're gonna hang out here for a week again. Mm. <laughs> you you wish we were gone, Ella? I had you guys. <laughs> okay. She was I, crying. Yeah. Aww. She was crying, and I'm like, what's wrong? And she's like, I miss mom and dad. She <laughs> thought you guys were gonna come home after school, so when we told her they're not coming back right now, grandma and grandpa might come. They might not come back at all till like next week, and she's all. What? I'm, I'm sorry, sorry that you don't understand that. But we're here now, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And after she said that, I said, she's not mm -hmm. gonna come back until a hundred days. You did not say that. A <laughs> hundred days. I want you to stay in the hospital and raise me because I want a brother. Look, I want a brother. You'll get a brother. I would just rather him grow in here as as long as it's safe for him than have a chance that he has to be in the NICU. So the one So it'll probably be the the like baby hospital. Probably oh. it'll probably be three weeks. I'm gonna have a brother. You in, have a brother. Three, in a little girl. You have a little girl. You brother. know what I mean. Any questions? I was I was just thinking and I'm like, mm. This is a roller coaster ride, huh? Mm -hmm. You guys feel like you Nuts. never know what we're gonna say? Mm -hmm. We yeah. beat Disneyland. We feel the same way. You beat Disneyland? What do you mean? Eh? Because um, Hobart was before Disneyland. Because this, this is Disneyland's 50th anniversary, and we've been alive for over 90 years. Hobart? Do you think we're gonna miss school when you guys go? We're gonna weeks? miss Friday for sure. Are and we gonna Friday. miss Tuesday? Wednesday? Thursday? Friday? Just Friday. Saturday? Just Friday. Just a day. I feel like every day I would dream about that day. I dream about what day? The day. The <laughs> day. Yeah. Did you have a dream about today? Yeah. What happened in your dream? Oh, are you having deja vu? What's that? Do you feel like you've lived this moment You're before? having visions. <laughs> yeah, but like... I... You map, like... In the summer, I dreamed Mom, about that yeah, it was school, and we were driving, Somebody and we, we got home on the bus, and then Aunt Kathleen took us to McDonald's. She's experiencing deja vu. Yeah. You've never had deja vu before, have you? Uh-uh. <laughs> deja vu it's weird. is really weird. It, you I feel like you've lived the day when you haven't really lived that day before. I've had that happen before. It was 
so weird. Or like a moment. It's like, whoa, like I saw this I happen did before. This. It's your brain. It's like a brain hiccup. Your brain like hiccups for a second. And it's like, I think I've experienced this before, but it's really the first time it's ever happened. You didn't have a dream of that. That's weird, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ella has a question. Well, when are you going to come back? When are we going to have a baby? No. Oh, she wants to know when we're going to go eat. <laughs> she wants to know when I'm going to stop stealing her fries and drinking her drink. Is that what you're trying to say? Yes. Make yes. It <laughs> Make it Make what you doing, Allie? I'm sitting on the floor so the dog will eat her food. <laughs> yep, if that dog wasn't spoiled, if anyone had any doubt whether that dog was spoiled. If you walk away, she just whines and she won't eat it. But if you sit here, she'll eat her dinner. <laughs> Yep. Way to go, Luna. You win. Sometimes I take her bowl and I'll like just have her sit in front of me and then feed her some. Hand feed her. You <laughs> literally hand feed her. Okay, my sister-in-law Katie said that it's really good for bonding in relationships. Okay. okay. You're good, Maybe mom. You should try hand feeding. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> we bond in other ways. 